Chris here, Keystone Lawn and Tree Care. Today we're going to talk about two-stage snowblowers versus one-stage snowblowers and which ones are best for you. Stay tuned. Thanks for joining me today as we talk about two-stage versus single-stage and which one is right for your business. We're talking commercial lawn care and which one would you buy commercially. We're not talking about just pushing one down your own driveway. We're talking about loading it in and out of the truck over and over and over through oh, as you make your route throughout the neighborhood. Which one's better, two stage, single stage? Well, here in Spokane, Washington, it doesn't really snow that much. We get a few inches at a time, so the little guy wins hands down. You know, nine times out of ten, we're using this little guy. It's fast, lightweight, easy to move around, easy to throw into the back of the truck. I mean, it's it's great for you know a few inches at a time. Now, if it gets a, more than a few inches, it does start to slow down, and that's when you would have to get into something like this. This thing would go uh, maybe five, over five or six inches, you'd use something like this. Anything less than that, you can get away with using the little guy. The little guy, it only weighs 60 pounds, and the bigger two-stage snow blowers, they can start, they're like 190 pounds just for a small one like this. This is 24 inches versus 18 inches. So this sucker is heavy, so you're going to have to use ramps or something to get it into the back of your truck. I suppose you could put it in the back of your trailer, which would make it easier to get in and out of, but if it's snowing, you probably don't want to be towing around a trailer with you anyway. So that's, that's one thing to keep in mind, is the weight of the thing and how heavy and how easy is it to get in and out of the back of your truck. Let's talk about ramps for a second. So I've already told you, you're probably just going to get the one stage snowblower because it's easier to use, it's lightweight, demonstration purposes, I just threw it up here on the, on the bench to show it, it's, it's super easy, versus the two stage snowblower, but you're going to get a two stage snowblower eventually, so let's just quickly talk about ramps. You got two basic types of ramps, you got the shorter, lighter weight aluminum ramp versus the DIY wood ramps. You buy the little metal attachment here. You get a 2x4 or a 2x6 or something like this and you got yourself a ramp for virtually nothing. I mean these little metal adapters are like 15 bucks at Home Depot or whatever. And you could probably throw this together for maybe 20, 30 bucks max. Versus something like this, it's going to start at 100 bucks. I think these ones are like $120 at, at uh, Home Depot. You notice that the aluminum one is shorter and the approach angle is sharper. Versus the big long board you get, you can change the approach angle depending on how long your board is. But also, the longer the board, the more material, the heavier it is. This thing's probably got to weigh like 35, maybe 40 pounds. This thing is heavy. I got a 2x4 screwed to the back of the 2x8, I think this is, to give me plenty of room. And they're really heavy, and then plus they're really long, so they kind of stick out of the back of the truck. Uh, but you know, I use this for years and years and years. I've been doing this for over 10 years and I just recently got the aluminum ones and I, I love them. They're really great. Lightweight, easy, throw in the back of the truck. Uh, yeah, the approach angle is a little different, but it works. And considering I don't really use the two stage snowblower that often, the approach angle is not really, it's kind of a non-issue. So when you're first getting started, you're probably going to have the wooden ones. But actually, you probably won't even have a ramp issue at all because you're going to be getting the single stage snowblower, which I've already recommended nine times out of ten. Hey, listen, if you're getting anything out of these videos, please, you got to hit the like button, you got to subscribe, and you got to leave a comment below. I love doing this stuff, and I'm just trying to share some things with you so you, you guys don't have to reinvent the wheel. You can watch a few videos like this, get some helpful advice, and be successful. The cost of maintaining these things is a little bit tricky to say. You know, you always got to get your scraper bars for the big guy and your scraper bar for the little one. Of course, these little plastic ones wear out 10 times faster than the big heavy duty metal ones. So that is something to consider. Um, but also, again, I'm running this little guy like 10 times more often than I'm running this guy. So yeah, these guys wear out fast. And I go through two of these a season. And that kind of brings me to another point um, is the overall cost of this thing, you know. If this thing, the big two-stage one, breaks down, it costs like $900 to begin with. So yeah, it's probably worth fixing, you know, for a few hundred bucks if it were to break down or something big were to happen. Versus 
if you're only spending four or five hundred bucks on the unit over here with the single stage and you break down and they, the mechanic tells you you need a couple hundred dollars worth of parts to replace, then it's probably not really worth it. Um, I had a problem with the underside scraping past and over beyond the scraper bar and it would get down on the edges and, it, and then it would damage the flipper. And just recently, I had to just toss one of these in the trash because it went beyond the scraper bar and it started grind, grinding the edges and then the flippers uh, were damaged. And it was kind of a bummer how to throw it away. You know, it was gonna cost me like $200 in parts just to fix it, you know, and then maybe see, I'm not gonna do the work myself. Maybe I'm gonna send it out. And then another couple hundred dollars to have somebody else fix it. You know, yeah, I probably could have fixed it myself, but for $200 worth in parts for a $400 machine, it's just not really worth it. While on the other hand, with something like this, I had this one fall out of the back of the truck once and didn't secure it well enough and it just clean fell out and it got all banged up. And it cost me like two or 300 bucks to fix. Major bummer, but the thing cost me like $950. So you bet I spent a couple hundred dollars to fix this one rather than just throwing it in the trash. So there's a couple of things that you want to think about the overall cost of ownership, the little guys versus the big ones. Again, I'm gonna have to go with the smaller ones. They're just better, they're faster, their parts are cheaper, and then if they break all together, you can just buy a new one. You can buy two of these for almost the same cost as one of the big ones. The overall footprint of a two-stage versus a single-stage snowblower is quite considerable. Look at the little one-stage snowblower. You can probably even see it tucked underneath the bench there. The handlebars fold back, slides really nicely under the bench versus this big monster, it's kind of in the way. The handlebars stick out like a good extra two feet. Yeah, I'll put a picture up on the screen so you can maybe see it from another angle. But you kind of get what I'm getting at here is that the, the footprint in your garage is considerable with this big monster two-stage snowblower versus a single-stage snowblower. And that might be something to consider, especially, again, if you're just getting started. You know, you might be renting a storage unit, you're paying by the foot. So getting a big monster like this, to have to store it, for maybe one time per season. I think I maybe use this one a couple times this season and the rest of the time we use this two, as a single stage. You might want to think about that. Thanks for joining me today as we talked about the differences between two stage versus one stage. Which one's best for you? Well, I hope I, you've gotten something out of this video today. And you know, again, if you've gotten anything out of this video, you gotta hit the like button, you gotta subscribe, you gotta comment below. And until then, we'll see you next time.